to start. So this is the Frederick Douglass urn. <coughs> The soul that is within me, no man can degrade. mother and father died when he was six years old. He was a slave and had no one to care for him. He slept on a dirt floor in a hovel and in cold weather would crawl into a meal bag head first and leave his feet in the ashes to keep them warm. Often he would roast an ear of corn and eat it to satisfy his hunger. Often he would crawl under a stable and secure eggs, which he would roast in the fire and eat. That boy did not wear clothes like you or I, but a tow linen shirt. Schools were unknown to him, and he learned to spell from an old Webster spelling book, and to read and write from posters on cellar and barn doors, why boys and men would help him. He would then preach and speak and soon became well known. He became presidential elector, United States Marshal, United States Recorder, United States Diplomat. He wore broadcloth and didn't have to divide crumbs with dogs under the table anymore. That boy was Frederick Douglass.
I saw no one that seemed to be shocked or disturbed by my dark presence. No one seemed to feel himself contaminated by my presence. I have found a total absence of all manifestations of prejudice against me on account of my color. I find myself not treated as a color, but as a man. The land of my birth welcomes me to her shores only as a slave and spurns with contempt the idea of treating me differently. It is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. The life of a nation is secure only while the nation is honest, truthful, and virtuous. It is not light we need, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. Thank mm -hmm. you.